Pipelines are the safest and most popular method of transporting energy to consumers worldwide. Natural gas, gasoline, diesel, crude oil, and water are just a few of the things pipelines are needed to deliver the energy necessary to support our everyday lives. Every time you turn on your lights, put fuel in your car, turn on your furnace, or just sit down to a meal with your family, the energy required to do all these things traveled through a pipeline at some time. As of 2019, 38 percent of home electricity use is generated from power plants that are powered by natural gas delivered through pipelines. Without pipelines, our current standard of living would be impossible. High pressure transmission pipelines in the United States are regulated by the Department of Transportation and undergo a rigorous maintenance program to keep them operational and safe. Almost all modern pipeline systems are buried underneath the surface of the ground to keep them out of sight and out of harm's way. Conventional excavating equipment cannot effectively deal with the rock encountered while constructing pipelines. Blasting is often the most cost-effective and efficient method of fragmenting rock for excavation. When done correctly, Blasting can be safely performed within a few feet of high-pressure transmission lines without damaging them. Mechanical rock breakage is slow, expensive, and significantly drives the cost of construction up, which translates to higher costs for the consumer. The higher production rates are better for community relations because neighboring residents are not subjected to weeks of noisy, dusty rock hammers operating outside their homes. Blasting is safer for the environment because it uses less fuel and has lower emissions than other rock excavation equipment such as hammers and trenchers. Streams and wetlands are quickly excavated resulting in less exposure time in sensitive environments. Local wildlife is only briefly disturbed as opposed to weeks of constant equipment activity. When done correctly, there are limited residual environmental impacts from using explosives. Blasting is not hampered by rock hardness or type to the degree hammers and trenchers are. Granite, gneiss, basalt, and other types of rock are simply too hard or too abrasive to be excavated by hammers and trenchers. Trenchers are incapable of rock excavation any deeper than about 12 feet, making them useless on pipelines requiring deeper depths. Pipelines are bored under rivers and roads and must be deeper to account for the lower elevations and increased minimum cover requirements. Bore pits cannot be trenched and rock hammers would take weeks to hammer the rock out of the bore pits, which must be big enough for the boring equipment to operate with adequate working room. Pipeline mainline blasting is accomplished by drilling a pattern of holes along the center line of the pipeline to a predetermined depth. Variations in trench depth and width are engineered into the drill pattern in advance and implemented as the drilling crews progress along the route. After the holes have been drilled and logged, the blasting crews load a predetermined quantity of explosive into each hole. The stemming crews then load inert chips of aggregate stone into the holes on top of the explosives to contain the explosive energy within the rock being blasted. When the blasting is near structures or other areas of concern, blasting mats are carefully placed over the shots to ensure nothing from the shot leaves the working right-of-way. When the shots are ready to be fired, all crews and equipment are moved back to a safe distance and the area around the blasting is surveyed and cleared of people and livestock. Spotters and drones are set in place to make sure no one walks or drives into the blast area and the shots are detonated after a series of predetermined signals have been sounded. After the dust and smoke have cleared, the blasting foreman will go inspect the shot to make sure everything went as planned. And an all clear signal is then given to let everyone know it is safe to return to the blasting area and resume work. With blasting, Safety is always the first priority. It is often the case high pressure pipelines parallel existing pipeline routes to lessen the impact on the environment. 
This usually results in blasting being performed in close proximity to already existing and operational high-pressure transmission lines and facilities. When that is the case, the owners of the existing lines, the owners of the new lines under construction, and the blasting contractor work together to prevent any accidental damage to the operational lines. Every reasonable precaution is taken to protect the public and the nearby operational lines from damage by the blasting. In this manner, blasting of pipelines is carried out safely, efficiently, and effectively with a minimal impact to both the public and the environment. Green energy or renewables are a fast-growing method of energy production. Wind generators and solar electricity plants are being built all across the nation as our society transitions from fossil fuels to renewable energy sources. Wind turbine generators are constructed on large bases buried deep in the ground for stability. A typical foundation for a wind turbine generator is about 80 feet diameter and 10 to 12 feet deep where a single foundation in solid rock could take weeks to hammer out. Three to six turbine foundations can be blasted and excavated in a day on most projects. Wind and solar power plants are typically constructed in remote, hard to access locations which require road construction in solid rock. Blasting is a far more cost-effective and reliable method of rock excavation for these types of projects. Where an access road to a solar wind or wind turbine site could take months or years to construct, blasting can reduce the road construction time to a few weeks instead. The cost of mechanical rock excavation is many times more expensive than blasting. The consumer bears the total cost of energy production. The savings blasting brings to energy production makes our energy much more affordable both at the fuel pump and in our utility costs at home.